Let's make some hot cross buns for Easter. Hot cross buns mark the end of the Christian season of Lent. These are delightfully spiced sweet buns that are leavened with yeast and studded with dried fruit and candied citrus peel. The tops are adorned with white crosses which represent the crucifixion of Jesus. Here are the ingredients I'm using. Everything will be listed in the description box for you and I'll also post a recipe card on social media. To start, I'm soaking the raisins with some hot orange juice and some Angostura bitters. You can use hot water if you want to. This is just to plump up the raisins so that they don't pull moisture from our dough. Zest half of an orange and a lemon and this represents the bitterness of that time. Start by adding your flour to a mixing bowl. And I'm using baker's flour, you can use all-purpose flour if you want to. Add some spices in and the spices represent the spices that were used to embalm Christ after his death. Add some yeast, brown or white sugar and the orange and lemon zest. And you want to give that a good mix to get everything incorporated. And you do not have to use a stand mixer for this, you can definitely mix this by hand. Now add one large or two medium eggs and some warm milk mixed with some melted butter. And you want to add the milk gradually while it's mixing just to form somewhat of a sticky dough. If you don't trust yourself then add only enough milk to make like a tacky dough that's not going to be too sticky and stick to your hands. Remember you can add as much or as little milk as you want and you can also add a dusting of dry flour in there to make it a little more workable. So you want to mix it until combined and then add some mixed fruits and the raisins. So I strained the raisins out but of course you can add the orange juice that it was soaked in but you'll have to add less milk. And this is how sticky I want my dough to be. I guess it's more like a batter. My hot cross buns are kind of like a Trini sweet bread. It's not like a dinner roll like what most people make hot cross buns to be. So if you want yours to be more like a dinner roll, then knead it that way. Coat with some oil and let it rest for about an hour until it doubles in size. Now lay it out onto an oiled surface and separate into 8, 12 or 16 smaller pieces. Now I'm using oil to work this but you can use some dry flour. And the thing about this dough or batter is that you don't want to over knead it or over mix it. So it doesn't require too much kneading. And you can weigh it to be a little more precise. I think mine was about 130 grams each. And of course, while doing this, I kept oil in my hands so that it doesn't stick to the glove. That's why I was using gloves too. Now place it onto an oiled pan. I just put a piece of parchment there and I sprayed it with some oil. And now you want to let it rise for the next hour or until doubled in size. Now to make my crosses, I'm mixing some flour, icing sugar and some water until it's a nice pipeable consistency. And you can omit this step and you can do the icing sugar crosses when it's finished baking. Now pipe the crosses, you can use one of these condiment bottles like I'm using. You can use a Ziploc bag or a pastry bag. Use whatever you have, whatever works for you. And 
And these crosses represent the crucifixion of Jesus. That's why these buns are only made for Easter. It's very holy. As you can see, I was having a little bit of trouble using this bottle, but it did the trick. And it was less messy than using a pastry bag or a Ziploc. So I like this method. Traditionally, pastry dough was actually used to make the crosses or it was cut onto the dough with a knife. Now bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 50 minutes. The wetter the dough is, is the longer it's going to take to bake, so you just have to keep an eye on it. Make a glaze using white sugar, Angostura bitters, vanilla extract and some boiling water. Mix until the sugar dissolves and immediately brush the buns after baking. It takes on a really nice gold and shiny color when you brush it with the sugar glaze. Now your hot cross buns are ready to be devoured. It's super hot still, but I really want to show you the inside. Look at how soft and nice these buns are. You can see all the fruit in there, you can see the citrus peel. And everything that's added into hot cross buns, they all have symbolic meaning. Look at how soft and how appetizing these buns are. I promise you'll love this recipe, so give it a try. And let me know on social media. You could tag me, you could email me, or you could even leave a comment below this video. This is the next day and I wanted to show you how it looks inside. As I mentioned, it's like a Trini sweet bread. So it's not like dinner rolls. It's like a mix between a sweet bread and a dinner roll, which is such a great combination. My in-house food critic absolutely enjoyed it and he wants you to try it. So make sure you try the recipe. Thank you so much for watching and wishing everyone a happy and blessed Easter.